People's most sensitive information, hundreds of pages dumped in an alley. Mental health records from a, a South Side Center closed years ago. CBS 2's Tara Molina is always investigating and has been working to learn how they ended up on the street. She joins us live where they were found. Tara. Erica and Brad, we talked to the woman who found the records dumped in this alley, but who dumped them here? Who is going to answer to this? We're asking. Names, addresses, social security numbers, everything. If it weren't for Amitrick Whittington, hundreds of medical records and more would still be all over this alley. Whoever dumped this shouldn't have, you know, this should have been shredded and take the, uh, handle more professionally. She called the city to pick up more than five big bags, records she found while taking out the trash. Why would they dump it here, you know, and paper flying everywhere? I was, that, was, that was terrible. You could see documents from someone's session by the garbage, by the fence, by the garage. 15th Ward Alderman Raymond Lopez. This is not what people will expect when they go to a mental health clinic in the neighborhood. Says his yeah, office is working with the city to find out who could have dumped this. Who is responsible for the exposure of hundreds of patients' personal information, their diagnosis, medical records, and more. This group and its members should be held accountable. We found the documents are from the Community Mental Health Council, a group of clinics that closed in 2012 when they lost state funding after serving the south side of Chicago for 37 years. This is what their main building looks like today. Locked up, no sign of anyone. Miles from where patients' information ended up. I've reached the city, the state, and mental health agencies who worked with this clinic. Right now, it's not clear who's responsible for these documents and how they ended up in this alley eight years after the clinic closed. But of course, we'll stay on this. Reporting live in West Inglewood, I'm Tara Molina, CBS 2 News. Thank you, Tara.